Hi, we are your lay delegates to annual conference from the Urbana United Methodist Church. I'm Gary Schenkel. And I'm Terry McLean. So every June, the West Ohio Conference has their annual conference, and this is when clergy and laity of the conference come together to be part of the connection. We worship together, we vote on legislation, and we hear reports from conference committees and from people all around the conference. Well, this is my first experience as a lay delegate to conference. And it, uh, well, it wasn't your typical lakeside experience up on Lake Erie. Instead, I sat in my home office and uh, online with 1,600 clergy and lay delegates. But uh, despite the fact that we were all apart and, uh, you know, in our separate places, it, it all went so very smoothly. I was impressed. And how, uh, how moving the worship experience and our fellowship time online really was. Yeah, and this was my seventh year, and I never tire of hearing our bishop preach. We are blessed to have such an amazing leader for our conference. And you can hear his message if you go to the West Ohio Conference website. Uh, this year's theme was Becoming. It's rooted in Scripture, 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. And uh, the theme focused on becoming more like Jesus, uh, becoming community and becoming spirit-filled. Bishop Palmer, in his message, challenged us to examine who we choose to be as followers of Jesus Christ in these difficult times in our church and in the world. And uh, he said, and I, I, sorry, I can't say that it's in his amazing <laughs> voice, but maybe Christopher can dub that in later. But anyway, he said, we are in that pivot and turning moment where we must answer the question, who do we choose to be? Do we choose to be healers, hope bearers, peace builders, and makers, and reconcilers for all the places where there is despair and hopelessness? Like Terry said, you can see his complete message on the West Ohio Conference website. So we, as in United Methodists, are governed by the Book of Discipline. And changes to the Book of Discipline are voted on and made at the General Conference. But at our annual conference, we can make recommendations for these changes to be made. So this year, we had eight recommendations to be voted on. Recommendation number one was about char changing conference rules and procedures and making them more concise. And it passed. Yeah. Recommendation two was to approve the conference's budget. The conference is well positioned financially to continue training leaders and equipping 950 local churches to transform people and communities for Christ. And financial resources continue to be in place to fulfill our promises to retirees and that recommendation also passed. Great. And recommendation number three was about the Board of Pensions and Health. No changes have been made to the billing rate for the Clergy Retirement Security Plan. The retiree health insurance plan will be limited to clergy and clergy spouses and will continue Medicare supplemental health coverage. And it too passed. Recommendation four was about equitable compensation. It includes a minimum 3% salary increase for clergy and it passed. Yes, and recommendation number five was about realigning the districts of the West Ohio Conference from eight districts to six districts. This will more evenly distribute the number of churches in each district. And this will take effect on July 1, 2023, and the bishop will announce the new district boundaries by March 1, 2023. And it passed. And recommendation six was about showing support for an amicable separation from the denomination for local churches and annual conferences. It encourages general conference delegates to support legislation that provides for graceful exits for churches choosing that path. And it passed. Right. Recommendation number seven was a call to the West Ohio Annual Conference to recognize and validate persons called to ordination without prejudice towards sexual orientation or gender identity. This recommendation was aspirational and not truly legislation that could change the United Methodist Book of Discipline. That can only be done by the General Conference, and this recommendation failed. And the final recommendation, number eight, was to recommend another path of separating from the United Methodist Church. It was uh, deemed out of order because it was a point of law that needs to be reviewed by the Church's Judicial Council. 
And in appointment news, the bishop mm -hmm. announced that Jim Lillibridge and Christopher Donnell are appointed to Urbana UMC for another year. Woo! Yeah. And then there was the trustees report, which uh, included encouraging news mm -hmm. for our denomination, for our conference. Here, uh, congregations and individuals, including Urbana UMC, contributed a total of nearly $7.5 million to the Light the Way campaign. And this generous giving has helped establish 18 new faith communities in our conference and more than 40 new ministries in ex at existing con congregations uh, through the Fresh Expressions program. And two more encouraging stats. This means nearly 2,300 new worshipers and disciples in West Ohio and over 250 baptisms. Plus, <laughs> members of the West Ohio Conference, including Urbana UMC, have contributed $250,000 for humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. That's awesome. <laughs> so all in all, it was a good conference. There were so many great reports from people all around the conference doing some amazing work for <laughs> Jesus. Next year, it was announced that the 2023 West Ohio Annual Conference will be held June 1st through 4th at Otterbein University in Westerville. Not in my Close home to home. office. <laughs> Not in your office. Oh, well, okay. Hey, thanks for listening. If you want to know more, just ask us. <laughs>